Starting from red and blue, we have had the option to rely fossil Pokémon. These mysterious and ancient creatures all share a common characteristic, the rock type. That's why I'm led to believe that what we see today is not the original form. In this video I'll try to recreate the original typing of all the fossil Pokémon. But first, let me thank you so much for the support you showed me on my last video on the Pokémon Iceberg. It was insane. Now, without further ado, let's start digging. The original pair of fossils in June 1 were the Dome and the Helix fossil, which, when brought to the Cinnabar Island lab, granted us respectively a Kabutops or a Nomastar. Both of these revived Pokémon are rock water type, and since they are based on prehistoric aquatic creatures, we can definitely say the second type is fine. Looking at Kabutops, we can see that he has many common features to bug type Pokémon. I'll even say that it can easily be what Team Plasma used to make their Genesect. Further proof is given from Kabutops' real life counterpart, the Trilobites, extinct marine arthropods group that contains, among the others, the insects. On the other hand, Omastar isn't as easy to classify. It is based on ammonites, extinct cephalopods, so some Pokédex entries state that its closest relative is Octillery. Knowing this fact, I'm quite positive Omastar could have been a pure water type, or even dark water given its hunting abilities. The third fossil Pokémon introduced in the first generation was Aerodactyl, a mixture of various dinosaurs, avian ones included. The biggest hint for its original type comes from Lance. The Dragon Master has always had one on his team, so it may have been a Dragon Flying Pokémon in the past, just like Dragonite is. Moving to the sunny shores of Owen, we are welcomed by two new fossils, the Root Fossil and the Claw Fossil. Both Creedilly and Armaldo were given a key spot in Champion Steven's team and became fan favorites. Creedilly is based on sea lilies, so I don't think it will be a stretch replacing its rock type with the water one, making it a full marine plant. I also believe Armaldo is an easy one, the ancient shrimp is classified as the plate Pokémon, and what's sturdier than rock and fits well with Steven's theme? The steel type. It definitely was a predecessor to Genesect in being the first natural steel bug type Pokemon. Diamond and Pearl gave us the possibility to look for fossils ourselves in the underground of the Sinnoh region, a feature that has yet to appear again in games. This underground experience brought to the discovery of two new fossils, the Skull Fossil and the Armor Fossil. From the first one, Rampardos can be revived, the signature Pokemon of the rock gym leader Rourke. It being based on a Pachycephalosaurus leads me to believe it could have been a pure dragon type. As we've seen in later generations, Game Freak really likes to associate the dinosaurs with that type. A similar argument can be made for Bastion, his Pokémon of Rourke's father, Byron, the steel type expert. While I'm tempted to give the dragon type to it as well, I think I'll go for a ground steel combination that really suits this Pokémon theme, being a Castle Ball. Yet again, in the Unova region, we are introduced to two brand new fossils, the Plume Fossil and the Cover Fossil. Let's take a look at the first one. Archaeops has the highest base stats of any fossil Pokémon, and it's balanced by its ability which cuts the attacking stats in half when its HP are below the 50% margin. I was really struggling to find an original type for Archaeops to replace the rock one, but then I saw its classification, the first bird Pokémon. So I'm quite sure it must have been normal flying back in the days, and all current bird Pokémon originated from it. If Archaeops dominated the skies ages ago, its counterpart Caracosta must have spread terror among all marine creatures. The Pokédex describes it as a vicious predator with a powerful bite, capable of crushing even Omastar's sturdy shell. To me it seems that Caracosta could have likely been a dark water type in its original form, a real mess to the other sea-dwelling Pokémon. Lastly, we're gonna take a look at the fossil Pokémon found in the Kalos region. If we choose to revive the Joe fossil, we can add Tyrantrum to our team. The inspiration for this Pokémon is pretty obvious, it's a T-Rex, hence the Dragon type. On the other hand, its rock type can be easily replaced if we check its classification, the Despot Pokémon. So back in the days, Tyrantrum was an evil ruler, a tyrant many might say. That's why I think that it being a Dark Dragon type would be a perfect fit. A much more gentle Pokémon can be revived from the Sail Fossil, Aurorus. This majestic creature is classified as a Rock Ice type, and it's based on a mixed concept between a dinosaur and the Aurora Borealis. I'm tempted to assign it to the Dragon type, but given its inspiration, a good fit could also be the Fairy type. What do you think? Should Aurorus be a Dragon Ice type or a Fairy Ice type? Let me know in the comments. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope I'll see you again for the next one. Oh, and if you want right now on the screen, you can click on others' videos I've made. Thank you again and have a good day.